Welcome back to another up weekly update on AI Assist. Let me share my screen and we'll go through what has been done this week. Well, what's notably to share this week. So I've created this uh, subgroup AI Assist within Incubation Engineering. Currently it contains two uh, projects, Meta, which is used for, uh, for progress issues. And I created another one for the playground, which is basically a project that I can run some CI CD in and start working on linters. Um, so I created a simple project, simple API, um, just to play around with um, Auto DevOps and GitLab CI. When I ran Auto DevOps, I found that even though I have a very simple Docker image, I have a massive amount of vulnerabilities. So I'm gonna follow up on that, see if it is actually true or if there's some bug or what we can do about it. Then I did some research on linters, Docker linters, because I decided to first focus on Docker files, because usually there's only one in the project, which makes it a bit easier. Uh, TLDR, uh, there are a few available, but I lint is by far the most popular. Um, and the only viable choice is the others are uh, not maintained or just not production ready compared to Hadoop. One of the things that I found out during the research was uh, GitLab code quality, which integrates perfectly well with Adolint. And that also leads me to the second point of my strategy, and that is to integrate with the UI. Basically code quality is already doing that. So I made a, a merge request with a pipeline that will fail because Adolint will have um, some concerns. And we can already see here that um, the code quality report shows up. This is not the full, I think this is only on the diff. And if we go to changes, we just need to wait a little bit. And then here we get the integration with the UI where the code quality is already being shown, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted to achieve with step two. So that's something that I'm gonna have to follow up on next week um, to talk with uh, the maintainers of code quality. Um, other things that I'm going to do as next steps is researchcodeclimate.com because I'm not familiar with it. Um, I'm going to research the usage of code quality, like specifically this feature, how many users are actually using. I hope that it is being tracked. I'm going to do a bit more research on security linters and I'm going to do more research on the existing security features because there's a bunch and uh, this project really helps me with exploring them. That's it for this weekly update. Thank you.